As we continue our coverage of the exhibition held here by the Public Sector Reform Unit, we're here at the booth housed for the Information Technology Services Division. To my right, you can see a list of some of the services that are offered by the department. And we are here with Mr. Duncan, a senior member of staff, network administrator. And he will tell you a bit of the things that are going on in ITSD. And specifically, we have some, um, old, well, some networking and hardware on display here. So Duncan, just give us a brief overview about your department and the role that your department plays in all of this. Well, um, Lonnie, thanks for this opportunity. Um, the ITSD is the department charged by government to provide ICT services to the government. We are the major implementation agency for government, you know, when it comes to ICT. Um, like you know, we provide an email service, www.gov.vc. We also manage we also manage the government web portal, where we have sites for basically every ministry and most departments and so on. Um, we also have a help desk, right, where people can log their complaints and so on, or if there's a fault with the network. We provide internet service to all government agencies and departments too, and so on. And like I said, we also manage um, a lot of ICT projects. Recently, we have done the e-document management system and the PKI, public infrastructure, where now you use, you know, this public infrastructure capabilities to make your documents more secure and so on. We also try to normalize the way we communicate up in the public service and so on, right? Um, apart from that, Zeroing into what is really happening today, we're speaking about the UN Millennium Development Goals and so on. Infrastructural development in ICT as a means of sustainable development. Now, basically what we have is that we have a fiber optic network that spreads Kingston and extends to some places like on the outside, on the outskirts of Kingston. But we have a, 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 um, a, a wide area network project that is coming on stream where we will be covering the entire island St. Vincent via fiber optic cable and we'll be interconnecting all government agencies, departments and so on. In such a way that when we do bring the VIP PBX that instead of going out of the government network to make a call, you would make an extension call to whatever, whatever clinic, whatever hospital, whatever school and that will bring down government communication co costs and so on. We'll also be linking the Grenadines via submarine fiber and we'll also be linking up with the government of um, Grenada and the government of St. Of Vincent Grenadines. Um, government of Grenada and the government of St. Lucia. St. Lucia, yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. So the, the, what is interesting about that is that it will happen in such a way because we are on the same infrastructure and we don't have to go out and pay like for an interconnection. A call to the government of Grenada or St. Lucia would be re recorded as a, an extension call. Thus, Decreasing the cost at which we, 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 um, we operate and deliver services to the citizens. Understand? Yeah. Yes, wonderful. So it's good to know that from St. Vincent and the Grenadines' perspective, and by extension, the Information Technology Services Division, there are actually programs on stream for which will be keeping in, in goal with the, the sustainable development goals. Not only in document sharing, but also in communication effectiveness and cost reduction. We'd like to congratulate the ITSD on um, the rolling out of the PKI and the EDRMS. And we do wish the department all the best going forward with these endeavors that we have. Thank you.